Let's solve this differential equation, and as we can see, we have something times dy plus something else times dt is equal to zero. It seems like this is an exact equation, so let's go ahead and do the check for exactness. If it's exact, we can know how to solve it, right? And you see, here we are talking about y and t, not the usual x and y, unlike this, right? So it's a good idea to remember if this is an exact equation, that means there is a function and we call that to be capital F. So that this is going to be the partial of f with respect to y. And this right here would be the partial of f with respect to t. Because for an exact equation, it came from the total differential of a function of two variables. And to make sure that there is such an f so that this happens, we have to check for the mixed partial, right? So the mixed partial is going to tell us Let's go ahead, do the partial with respect to t of this, because this was for y already. So let's go ahead, put this down, t over y. Okay, in the t world, t is the variable, 1 over y is the constant. The derivative of t is just 1, and everything altogether, you'll get 1 over y. Real quick, if I ask you, what's the derivative of t, okay, over 3, like this, in the t world? The answer is what? One third. This is like one over three times t, right? So you have one third. Same thing here. Y is the constant in the denominator. Same thing, okay? Next, we check the partial right here with respect to y because this was for the t already. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have one plus tau n y. The derivative of one is zero. The derivative of ln y in the y world it is just one over y. So yes. They are the same. This is an exact equation. Okay, and now we have to solve it. Let me just erase the board real quick. And you can begin either one up to you. It doesn't matter. Just for fun, let's start with this right here, okay? So let's do the partial of f over you know, the partial of t, like this. I shouldn't say over, but whatever. Put that down, and then we write this down as 1 plus ln y, and we have to figure out what the capital F is. Let's go ahead, integrate, integrate, and we have to integrate this with respect to time. Okay, so the dt right here. Anyways, this is what we have, and let's see, on the left-hand side we have f, and this is equal to the integral of 1 in the t world is just t, and you know that ln y in the t world is a constant, so the integral of ln y is just going to be plus t times ln y. Well, now we have to add a constant, but in the t world, y is a constant. So we have to add not just a plus c, it's a function of y. So I'll put this down as g of y. When we differentiate this with respect to time, t, <laughs> you get this back, right? You get 1, you get ln y, and g of y is going to be 0. And now this is how the capital F will look like, but we are not sure what this is yet. At the end, what we have to do is, we have to take the partial of this with respect to y and make it match with that. And let's do it. So do the partial with respect to y, do the partial with respect to y. You see, on the left-hand side, we have partial of f with respect to y. This is equal to y is the variable, t is a constant, so this is going to give us 0. The derivative of t times ln y in the y world is going to be, let me keep the t, the derivative of ln y in the y world is 1 over y, so let me put it down as t over y, like that. And the derivative of this, I will just put this down as g prime of y. This is how the partial of f with respect to y looks like, and it has to be the same as what we have over there. So let me set this equal to t over y. This and that match. So what does this mean? It's zero, isn't it? So we must have g prime of y equals to zero. And now at the end, you know, you can integrate both sides with respect to y. And you know g of y, the integral of zero in any world is just a constant like this. And we are done. At the end, um, this is the function part because g of y is just a constant. So you can write this down as t plus 
t times ln y and you put a constant on the right hand side like this that's it